Hello, this is Arosha Shive, and huzzah, happy Clue Day. July 27th is the Clue Day, and we have two Clue Drops that have to deal with the checkered key and the corrupted key. So let's get into it. Both of these clues will, will go under the category of cryptography, I would say. Maybe also be in a combination with logic. So this is a bit of a different take if you will from previous keys have been happening the last clue drop was the stc key and that was a logic key uh, the previous keys from the majority of july have been either geolocation keys or a, a contest key so this is getting back to uh i guess you can say regular pace not say pace but a regular um a regular type of clue, uh, something that many within the Satoshi uh, Treasure Hunter community really likes is the cryptography key. They like the uh, geolocation keys and the um, contest keys not as much, but you know, there's a fans for each of these different types of clues, if you will. So let's uh, get into the nature of these particular keys. Um, and before we get into any of that, I just want to say that uh, July 29th, I will be doing the uh, weekly update of just pretty much all that is happening with all the different key solves and uh, what's happening with the game. So let's get to these clues. So a quick clue update. The earth key, still unsolved. Uh, the zero knowledge key and the philanthropic keys, those keys don't end till uh, the zero knowledge key is July 29th. The philanthropic key is July 28th. Uh, let's see. The street key is July 29th is when that clue ends. The will key, uh, Cash Zero One. I have a number of clans, particularly the Steam clan, have publicly stated that they um, have found all the geolocation keys. So I think the only reason that possibly why this has not been declared found is that uh, the video aspect of the solved uh, hasn't been awarded uh, to everyone or anyone. They must be still going through that uh, because most of that wrapped up July 21st. Though in the past, it seemed like the geolocation keys were kind of one off. You have to be there, but a couple of them have had the sticker still left over. But then I looked in the uh, public telegram and it seems some of them have been removed. So it's very much possible that the geolocations are going to be uh, one and done um, keys. And I will look more into that. Um, aspect of it uh the pair key that doesn't end to august 19th that's a contest key the stc key uh, a logic key or logic clue if you will a logic solve has been found and now these new clues so the checkerboard key scan carefully so this particular clue gonna enhance a little bit enhance Enhance, enhance, <clears throat> enhance. This relies on a bit of previous knowledge from participating in other um, puzzle solves. For example, the mini hunt in Taipei, there was an issue about scanning the QR codes because most people are accustomed to scanning this fashion, you know, FaceTime fashion. Um, vertical building up but you have to turn from the hint here 90 degrees and scan the QR code that way horizontal like the Sun or a boat and with that little hint um, that the game makers gave us on the uh, Satoshi Treasures mascot it allowed for people to be able to figure out how to scan the QR codes. So the one to the left here gives you the decryption page. The one on the right puts you in the public telegram. So they're, you know, kind of advertising where you, other people can meet up. And in the bottom here, this is the key one. 
this big one, this is where you have to decrypt. And it says it if you scan it that you have to decrypt the um, <clears throat> QR code is encoded to get the fast phrase. So there's a bit of a message and then I'm, I'm given the hint that it's called a checkered board. These red dots obviously have some kind of basis for trying to solve this clue. And then you have this down here where it's a 1 million USD slash BTC uh, times 1,000, which with the symbol from the SDC coin. So the Satoshi treasure coin, which was from the last clue drop, the last puzzle. If you look on the cat, it has, let's enhance. The cat has, in fact, this symbol right up here, which is the symbol of Mercury uh, and the male symbol on the bottom here. It's like a combination of. And back to the clue. So you have that symbol. And this kind of miffed people. So there was an, a discussion about it. And then you have a copyright symbol of Lock and Keys Incorporated. So this is where it might be some a combination of cartography and logic might because you have to do some internet sleuthing might play a part in solving for this particular puzzle also they just really love that this yellow this kind of 80s um reminds me of that squirt i think soda can yellow got going on here with the uh satoshi's treasure mascot so tilt your tilt your camera 90 degrees, scan the QR code to get the decryptor page. And, you know, also now looking at this puzzle, uh, you can see that the QR code style is very different. It's very stylized. I'm not sure if that is important, but you never know. It's something to keep in mind. Particularly the fact that this QR code on the bottom here um, the one where you have to decrypt the um, information inside here that's encrypted in the QR code uh, is the new kind of pixelated standard format. Just an observation. So let's talk about the discussion here that was going on about this clue. So Kamaitis, who is part of the Steam Clan, um, tweeted out to Eric Meltzer, um, one of the game makers, and he was like, um, Looking at the new clue, it seems that you guys are not paying the original lock wallet anymore, but 1,000 tokens of that STC seen on CMC. This is true. Uh, CMC is the abbreviation of coin market cap. Eric responded by stating that, ha ha, no. <clears throat> the STC is a joke made up for the clue, Bitcoin for life. And the commodities that responded back, then it, the clue seems a bit misleading. The original wallet is now already more doubled in value. So... Yeah, but again, this bringing up the issue that many hunters have had about the fact that the Bitcoin address has not been disclosed by the game makers for them to kind of be kind of little jokey jokies about the uh, prize pool, if you will. You can understand that it's kind of a, while intentional or not, a, kind of a dickish move, if you will, to some people. People kind of taking taken to that. Um, I want to say we're pretty much almost at 50 keys now. Uh, 50 out of the 400 essentially that you would need to decipher and to get to that uh, Bitcoin price pool. So I can understand how people are a little miffed by that. And then the next clue is the corrupt the key, which is something that you have to download. The clue is communication error. And what is known about the file is uh, one is called corrupted. It doesn't have any particular <clears throat> ending to it, like PDF or ODT or DOC or anything like that. Uh, which application? Application slash OCTCT dash streaming, 3.7 megabytes, and it's from you know the, the site. So you will have to unlock that particular file in a certain manner to be able to uh, decipher the particular clue. 
and then solve for the puzzle, which gives you, you know, no doubt the decryption page and the password. So that's it for this particular clue. Um, drop, if you will, these two clues, the checker clue um, key and the um, corrupted key. Um, I would say of between the two particular puzzles, I think the QR code one is pretty interesting and it'd be, it'd be interesting to see how fast both of these particular um, clues are solved. Like I said, we're getting close to 50 keys. Um, it's almost at, towards the end of the month of July, so a number of different uh, keys are now going to be available, whether they're solved or not. Um, and of course, the Earth key is still hasn't been solved. So there's that. Uh, again, I will be doing my weekly update about what's going on with the game, what's been solved, how um, you can solve these particular clues, um, what's been maybe what keys have been made publicly available, and just pretty much go from there on what's going on with this Toshi's treasure hunt. So my name is Horosha Shai, uh, this is Toshi's Treasure Hunters, and on with the hunt. If you would like to contact me, you can reach out to me on Satoshi's Treasure, uh, Satoshi's underscore treasure on Instagram. There's also Satoshi's Hunters on Twitter, where you can contact me through Anchor FM slash Hiroja Shive. If you like what you see or like what it is I'm doing, you can help support by uh, either sharing or liking or making some comments um, below on the, on the YouTube channel here. Or you can support financially uh, through Cash App at the money sign Hiroja. Uh, scan the QR code or input the Bitcoin address and give that way. Or at anchor FM slash Hiroja Shibe slash support.